All right, guys. Uh, today we're working on a 2007 BMW X3. This is the wife's car. It had, it was starting to grind when she stepped on the brake pedal, so that tells me, you know, we're gonna have to do pads and rotors. Um, I got on it and felt it, and yeah, it was grinding pretty good. Pedal was bouncing up and down on you. So that's how you know um, the rotors are no good if that pedal is bouncing at you. Um, so I've, if you're watching this video, I'm assuming you already know how to jack up a car and take a wheel off. Uh, this job looks pretty straightforward. Um, you know, you're going to have to take this Allen out. Uh, I'm going to stick one in there. If I can't get it to come out because the rotor will spin, I'll stick a screwdriver in one of these slots here up against the caliper to hold it back so that I can break that Allen loose. I think it's a six. Um, and then you're going to want to get back here, knock off this dust cap. This cap right here, you're going to knock that off. If I can, there we go. And then... And then you can feel it's like an Allen, another Allen wrench in there to take that off to get the sliders out of this one. And then there's another one down here at the bottom. You're going to want to take off. You're going to take off these two bolts. Uh, and then the whole caliper will come off. Then you'll be able to get the you'll be able to get the rotor or the pads out. And then and then you can pull the rotor. This rotor is good to go. Um, I'm not sure if you can see in the video, but it's got a pretty good lip in there. So these rotors have had a good long life. They've done what they wanted to do. I don't think it was this side. This is the front driver's side tire. I don't think this is the one I was grinding. The one on the passenger side is definitely grinding. I should have started with that one. But uh, yeah, um, I'll let you know how it goes. Pretty straightforward though. All right, guys, so got the front brakes on. Just took it for a test drive. Look pretty good. Um, I'm pretty impressed with it. I like these, uh, this kit that I bought off of Amazon. I'll leave the link in the description. Um, these are the rears. I'm gonna do the rear here, the rears here in a few minutes. Um, I was right, the passenger side was the one that was getting chewed up. You can see here, look at this rotor. You can almost see the lip on that inside where that dirt ring is. This thing was getting chewed up pretty good. Um, something that I didn't get I didn't get a chance to talk about in earlier here is uh, these clips, these retaining clips that help hold the uh, uh, the uh, caliper in place. So this is it here. I've already knocked this one out. They're set up exactly the same way in the front. So they're in. This one's still in. You can see that it's still in. And I I popped this one out. You see that lip right there? it goes into a little hole or a little ridge on the inside of that. So to get it out, you wanna get under, you wanna get underneath here with a screwdriver or something to pry and push up, push, push up so that that lip will clear. Um, so that ridge there will clear the lip and then you can back it out. So let's see if I can do it here with one hand on this side. Oh yeah, just like that. Um, probably wear safety glasses.
All right, guys, I'm just finishing up over here on this rear passenger side. Um, I wanted to talk real quick about these wear sensors. So I got this one out of the pad over here, um, just barely, but there's two wear sensors on this car. There's one on this wheel, the rear passenger side, and then there's one on the rear driver, on the front driver's side. Now, this, um, this sensor here goes into the pad uh, that is closest to the piston. And you could pop these out. Um, it, it matters which way it goes in. So this side, the side with the ridges here is the sensor. And then the, the side with the dot on the back or the flat edge is the, um, goes towards the pad. And this side with the, the nub here goes towards the rotor. Um, if you're very careful, it goes into that pad just like that. Oh, let's make sure I don't lose that clip. It goes in there just like that. If you can take, you could take a screwdriver and just go along the edges of it and pry it out. Be very careful. The reason why is you don't want to break the, the backing part that helps secure it in place on the new pad. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, I'm going to finish the car up here and yeah, I'll, I'll let you know how I like these brakes. Probably, I don't know, in the next couple of weeks or if I get enough comments, then I'll, I'll do that. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, post in the comments what else you want to see or what's going on with your car. And if, you know, if I've worked on it before, I'll let you know what I've done to fix it.